Three years ago, almost to this day, a girl woke up, put on sweatpants and an old T-shirt, and went to school. But she cringed as she walked in, scared of what would happen. She turned her head down as a group of girls slithered slurs into her ear. She picked up hateful notes as they fell out of her locker. She winced as girls cackled, watching her shake as she ran to class. My name is Valerie. I'm 17 years old, and three years ago, I was that girl. Kids would make up rumors that I didn't have the physical ability to speak because I was so shy. Every single day, I would get torn apart at school. I felt like I was in a deep, dark hole, and I couldn't get out. But at a time where I felt like I was drowning in darkness, something changed. My light turned on. I got an idea. What if there was a global space where all kids from all over the world could come and share their struggles, and we could work together to solve those issues? That idea turned into a little website called the Validation Project. It's now a global organization that works with 6,000 teenagers in 100 countries. Through community service and mentoring, we turn struggles into teenage superpowers. For example, a Kwimwe lives in Uganda, a country where being gay is illegal. He came to us as a closeted, scared teenager. We partnered him with the leader of a Ugandan LGBT activist group. A Kwimwe is now the first person to come out in his village as gay, but not the last. He started an HIV clinic and continues fighting for equality. Valeria, in Peru, struggled because her teachers told her that she would never succeed because she's just a girl. We worked with Valeria to design an online campaign about feminism. Through her, ag through her advocacy, Valeria's school now teaches a course about women's rights, and next year, Valeria will be a freshman in college. The Validation Project changed their lives, and it changed mine, too. All of a sudden, my dreams were real, and real change was happening. But as the girls at my locker slowly disappeared, adults started asking me, why are you doing this? Don't you think you're a little young to run a company? Don't you have some homework to do? Why is it that every time we think outside the box, we're told to wait until we're older, wait until we have our life figured out? I have a Google alert set up on my phone for the word teenagers. Every day, I'm notified of the news my generation is headlining. And every day, virtually every story is overwhelmingly negative about what teens have done wrong, about tragedies involving teenagers. And every day, I ask myself, why are these adults telling us not to go for our dreams when you find out about your dreams about the hardest times in your life? You don't find your passion when you're at your highest point. You don't realize what gets your blood going when you're having a great day. You turn your light on when you are surrounded by complete and utter darkness and you have no other way to see. Yet every single day, these news headlines keep showing up. Teens firing BB guns causes lockdown at school. Teens charged with murder. Teen dies after being shot 16 times by a Chicago cop. It shouldn't be normal when a teenager kills or gets killed. It should be normal when a kid does something kick-ass. That's what needs to be in the news. That's why you need to turn on your light. I remember in my fourth grade classroom, my teacher asked us, who wants to be president one day? And every single hand went up. Every single hand. Fast forward a few years, I'm a teenager in high school, and I walk into the library, and my friend next to me is freaking out because her teacher told her to write about herself. She was actually struggling with how to describe herself. Yet, she walks into school, and we're told to make our dreams come true. The silence that you're hearing right now is the silence that teenagers hear every single day when they present their ideas to the world. You're going to find the darkness that I found in my life every single day. You're going to find yourself surrounded by darkness when you tell your teachers your ideas, when you tell your family your ideas, when you say it to yourself, you'll realize your rejection. 
And every single day, you have to tell yourself that you have to believe in what your dreams are. Because as you get older, everybody's going to keep telling you that you're the future, that you have to be the future. But the future doesn't just happen. We're not going to wake up one day to the year 2040 where the wars are over and Netflix is free. Girl can dream. <laughs> To get to the future, we've got to give it our all in the present. And every single day, the world will try to make you hear your silence. It'll try to turn off your light. It'll drag you by the hand and scream, this is important, and this is important, and you need to worry about this and do this. And every day, it's up to you to yank your hand back, put it on your heart, and say, no, this is what's important. Your dreams are important. You are going to find yourself surrounded by darkness time and time again. But each time is a new opportunity for you to turn on your light and make the world a little brighter. At 14, when I was bullied so brutally, I started pretending I was sick so I wouldn't have to go to school. I turned on my light. At 16, when I took all my fear and passion and packed it into a tattered duffel bag, I turned on my light. At 17, when I kissed a boy on a Ferris wheel, and I realized that if I was going to tell kids every single day to be proud of who they are, I had to be proud of who I was and come out as gay, I turned on my light. And now here I am, almost 18. I've turned on my light so many times, it's not dark anymore. But it wasn't easy to get here. As life goes on, you are going to find yourself drowning in your darkness every single day, and it's going to seem so much easier to stay there than to take your risk. But you have to listen to that little voice in your head. Because the world needs you to go against the grain. It needs you to take those ideas, take that silence, and speak out. Because we may only be 13.5% of the population, but we are 100% of the solution. All you got to do is turn on your light. Thank you. <laughs>